Okay, what we want to do here is factor and then solve this equation, 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. Um, the first thing you want to realize is that it has a leading coefficient. Now, that's that a term. So if it has a leading coefficient, it's kind of tricky to, to factor this into the components that multiply back together to equal the original equation. So there's a lot of different methods. Guess and test is something I want to steer clear of. So what I want to do is I want to find out what multiplies and adds to equal 8. It's got to add to equal 8, but it usually has to multiply to equal this number here in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply A and C. So if I do A times C, well, that gives me a, a 12, and I'm going to place that in a box to the right. Now, the middle term, 8, that, that's going to go in my circle. Now, I'm going to play a little possum here and just figure out what times what multiplies to equal 12. So, I guess 1 times 12, um, 2 times 6, that, that equals 12, and 3 times 4, that equals 12. And if I went on further, I'd get 4 times 3. I'd start repeating numbers. Uh, it's a little redundant. What I need to find out now is what adds or, mul or adds up or subtracts to equal that middle number, 8. And in this case, it's 2 and 6. You cannot have a method of factoring without doing this process. Some people call them X factors, and they'll place the 12 on top and the 8 here. Other people make a little table, and they'll say that this is B and this is A times C. These are all the same thing. This is the actual thought process. But once we add that 2 and 6, let's just try to do it really quickly. What we can do now is throw a division bar in that leading coefficient, 3x, and another division bar, that leading coefficient, and the 3x, and now we're going to dump on top of that the 2 and the 6. And now all we need to do is look to see if anything simplifies, and lo and behold, something does simplify, the 6 and the 3. 6 over 3 simplifies to just 2 over x. And from there, I can go ahead and set up my two factors. From that scenario, what I'm going to have are two factors that multiply together, which equal that, which is set equal to 0. Here it comes, 3x plus 2, and then over here, x plus 2. I chose uh, an example that has a plus plus, so the signs, the plus plus, aren't going to be too difficult. Now all I need to do to solve is use the ZPP, which is the zero product property. Um, I'm going to set each of these factors equal to 0. So that's going to give me one factor, 3x plus 2, equals 0. And the other factor, x plus 2, equals 0. And because it's an x squared, that means I have a possible two answers, according to the fundamental theorem of algebra. So I'm going to minus 2 from both sides in this particular case. And that's going to give me 3x equals negative 2 divide by 3, and my final answer for this part of the problem is x equals negative 2 thirds. It happens a little quicker in this example. I subtract 2 from both sides, and that's going to give me x equals negative 2. So the factors of 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 are as follows, the quantity 3x plus 2 and x plus 2. And the solutions to this equation are x equals negative 2 thirds and x equals negative 2.